Hi, I'm Jenny from Can Jenny Make, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own crossbody water bottle bag with a built-in cell phone pocket. Hi, I'm Jenny from Can Jenny Make, and today I'm going to show you how I made this uh, crocheted water bottle bag that has a built-in cell phone pocket. It worked all at once, the circle and the pocket, and I will walk you through the steps, everything except for the strap, because that's just a bunch of a double crochets and that takes too long. So if the pattern for this water bottle bag is on my Ko-Fi, which is linked below for free or pay what you want. Free is always fine. If I put it up as free, I'm telling you it's fine. Anything more than that is just a bonus, a thank you, a tip for me, whatever you want to call it. Much appreciated, but definitely not expected. Um, it also is for sale on Etsy if you prefer to go through Etsy. And with that out of the way, let's get going with this tutorial. We're going to start with the magic ring. You can do this however you want or learned. This is how I did. And then we are going to chain three. One, two, three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet. And so we're going to double crochet 11 more into this loop. One, and pull that to close. And then we're going to slip stitch so that our first round has 12 double crochets, including that chain three. Slip stitch to close. So for round two, we're going to do a chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, and then do another double crochet in the same spot. And now in each previous stitch, we're going to do two double crochets, so we will have a total of 24 at the end of this round. Meet you back here in a second. Okay, so this is where we're at now. We have 24 double crochets in that row. We're going to chain one, and then we are going to do two single crochets in each stitch. So in the end, we'll have 48 stitches in this, in round three. So we will do chain one, and then in the same spot, we do one. Next stitch, we do one, two, One, two, and all the way around until we have 48, like this. Did the transition work? I have no idea. Here's where we start to build the pocket. You're going to want to mark your start stitch and count 24 over and mark over here. This is where we're going to build the pocket. So you always know. Your circle has 48 and your pocket's always going to have 28. Here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to draw it out here so we get an idea um, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. For building the pocket, we're going to work into the back loop on this circle so that this front loop is open to build a wall. All right, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is our circle. So we have 24 stitches on this side. This is going to end up being 48. So these are all US terms, but we're going to do slip, slip, single crochet, half double, double, treble, chain two, treble, half double, or treble, double, half double, and then one, two, three, four, five, six singles, and then we're going to finish the other side. So there we go. We have our circle for our water bottle and our pocket forming for our cell phone. Let's go to the next step. Before we move on to the next round, you're going to do single crochets in these 24 stitches on the bottom. And that's going to finish the base of the bag. Okay, and here's where we are. You can see the ridge right here that we left by working into the back loops. That is going to be what builds the wall. So we are going to come this next row, we're going to start and we're going to go all the way around the circle. When we get over here, we're going to kind of do a hop and around. It's going to look weird the first row, but trust me, it gets a lot easier. So every row we're going to do, we're going to do 48 for the circle and then the pocket, which is 28. Let me show you. And you can see I kind of pinch 
the pocket piece back so I can get to this loop. So you can see I've done 24 stitches on that inner ridge and now I'm here and I'm going to, this is hard to film left handed and on camera, I'm right here, I'm going to do my next double into the outer ring so that I complete this 24 and get back here. So I've done 24, so the next one we're going to go 25, 26. Okay, so I've done 48 and I'm going to slip stitch to close into the top of that. Chain three. And then we're just, it's a little bit weird at first. We're just gonna pinch this over and we're gonna do our double crochets into here. Remember, we just need to count to 28. One. Now I have my 28 double crochets for the front of the pocket and my 48 for the circle. We're just going to slip stitch to close this round. And that's our first round. So we're here, and since I'm left-handed, I'm going to do round two in this direction. I'm going to go this way around my circle, and then this way around my pocket. We're going to build the second round in double crochets as well. Same as the first. Be sure you count 48 for your circle and 28 for your pocket. And then we're going to get the pattern going. I just did my second row of 48 double crochets. That includes the chain three at the beginning. Uh, I feel like the transition from circle to pocket is what people are going to be most confused about. So I wanted to show you one more time. I'm going to slip stitch to close in the top of this chain three. I'm just going to turn it to make it easier to get to. And then I'm going to start down here and we are going to do our 28 double crochets into this pocket. Okay, so here's where we're at. You can see we're starting to get our pocket for our water bottle and our pocket for our phone. This might end up looking a little smooshed in. That's okay. It just makes a nice snug fit for your phone. Don't worry about it. Next, we're going to start working on this pattern portion. So we're going to do a double crochet, chain two, skip two down here, double crochet. And then the next row after that, we're going to do a row of all single. So we're going to chain three, one, two three, and then two. We're going to skip two, and we're going to double into that one. What did I say? Skip two into there. And then chain two. And then skip two, double. We're going to go all the way around the circle, and then the pocket. Okay, so I just did my rounds of double and chain and around the pocket. So if you counted, when you get to stitch 24 on the circle, it's actually a chain where we connect. So we are going to slip stitch this into this chain and then we are going to do a row of single crochet on everything. And when you do the single crochets, you're going to go two into the hole and one on top of the double. And this is where we're at. You can see by doing the row of singles, you get a nice ridge to work into and it creates a nice defined step. Um, so we're gonna keep working this until we have six rows of these squares and then come back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of these squares. We're gonna add one more row, but just on the water bottle portion, we're done with the cell phone portion. And then we're gonna do a row of double crochet again, just on the water bottle portion. And then we're done with the bag part. And here is the final bag. There's no water in the water bottles, which is why it's hanging a little funny, but you got the cell phone pocket, you got the water bottle pocket. Um, I usually go with double crochet for the strap. It does stretch and I just remove two inches from the length I think I want it. Um, there's lots of different ways to make straps. This is just the fastest and I don't have patience, especially for like a cross body strap that takes a really long time. Um, so yeah. Here's the final. I'm so excited. Uh, this one's going to my sister. Thanks for watching. Bye!